Neil, our next guest uh, goes in a continuation of conversation we've been having about sustainability across the UAE and the importance of, well, I guess much like the guest we had on yesterday, not thinking that plastic's a bad word. It's what we do with plastic that's, that's right. the big problem in the country. Absolutely. Sustainability has been a point of conversation from a very long time. But, you know, to break it down into bits of conversation from a very long time, but, you know, to break it down into bits, to in into actionable points, what to do to ensure that sustainability happens is something that that we'll be uh, talking right now. Well, we will with uh, Dr. Albert Fakhri, who runs the Centre of Innovation and Sustainability at the Canadian University in Dubai. Uh, he's, he's got a multicultural history, French, Lebanese, US race. Now he's here in the UAE, Canadian University, and he's going to be talking about uh, this current situation and about sustainability in uh, the UAE. Dr. Albert, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you for hosting me. Thank you know, you. Look, look, it's great to have you in here, and the UAE does lead the world in so many avenues. Mm -hmm. But I think that when it comes down to generally recycling, there's probably a lot of room to grow, isn't there? Absolutely, absolutely. In fact, great efforts has been done in the UAE to progress. And um, with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, when you look at the ranking, the usually the Gulf countries and the Arabic countries were sitting like very low. Mm -hmm. But the UAE took the initiative to move forward in you know, in many places, in many sectors, and they've been pushing their files big time. And if we look at the report of the U- United Arab Emirates to the United Nations, in terms of sustainability initiatives mm-hmm. and the sustainable development goals in general, the 17 goals that we can find uh, at the UN website, you see that really uh, the UAE has been like jumping you know, and moving ahead, uh, we have a, a lot to do mm-hmm. because it's a matter of you know culture implementation. We need to change so many things, yeah. but uh, we are we are moving there. Right. So when you say that you know we have a lot to do and we have already done a lot, uh, what are those actionable points that one, as an individual, you know, while the government does its job, as an individual, one has to keep in mind while you know doing your daily tasks. Absolutely. In fact, when you look at the composition of the UAE uh, mm-hmm. like uh, population, we see that all we are most of us we are expatriates. We are living here. We are coming from different uh, countries, from different backgrounds, and sometimes sustainability or recycling or whatever is implemented within the culture right. and you know with some uh, population some geographic zones and for some it's something new and then you need really to wait for mm-hmm. uh, some new generations to come mm-hmm. and then to to explore that and to spread that culture right you know across the generations and the global community yeah th- there are amazing things that are always happening you know i walk around the marina and you've got those water stations yes uh, which is a great example of i, I go home and then I get in the lift and I go, ah, I forgot my water bottle. <laughs> yeah. And then I go back and get it because I know I can reuse it rather than having to buy plastic all the time. But y- you speak about that new generation, Doctor, uh, where you're at, at the uh, Centre of Innovation and Sustainability at the Canadian University. Uh, how, how is this becoming part of the general education? Well, in fact, you just mentioned Marina, but you need to visit our campus in City Walk in the heart mm-hmm. of Dubai. And this is where you will see that how we moved away from the use of plastic bottles. Okay. Can you imagine in university that is having more than 2,000 students and with a big number of faculty, uh, how many bottles, plastic bottles we've been using on a daily basis. Mm. I recall like every Monday uh, morning, I had the people coming to my office bringing like a big box of plastic bottles for the use, but only the use in my office and for my guests. Mm-hmm. And then we had consume, we were consuming a lot of those. Now what we, the Canadian University of Dubai did, we've been, uh, we signed in fact one of the memorandums when, uh, with PepsiCo and mm-hmm. we got uh, these uh, uh, stations that were uh, showcased at the expo in right. fact, Dubai Expo 2020 and then uh, we provided the recyclable uh, cups and also the bottles and mm-hmm. now the faculty are bringing their own bottles and we are taking that water yeah because Expo had the still water in cans that's right which yeah. I love the idea but it was still strange having still water in cans. <laughs> I couldn't yes, get yes. used to it when I, yeah. when I was having it. Uh, I want, want to know, there's a big problem around the world in regards to coffee cups. Mm-hmm. We know we try and get people to bring their own reusable cups. Yes. A lot of coffee shops offer discounts if they do. Mm-hmm. But I, I also can't believe that when it comes to sustainable design that we haven't been able to build a fully recyclable coffee cup yet that can still keep the drink warm. Yes, true. Now we are we are almost there. Yeah. In fact, and one of the initiatives that we launched specifically at the Center of Innovation Sustainability 
Well, it's going to be launched in November. Okay. But okay. you are now, you are oh, making it. Oh, we're getting an exclusive oh, day. We like this, yeah. So, <laughs> yes, so, and specifically on the 2nd of November, we'll be launching one uh, comp- big competition with a Norwegian company, mm-hmm. and uh, Pure Blue Water. And that competition is related to product design, where we will be, in fact, developing, and they are committed to manufacturing it, you okay. know, the, the winning design, and then uh, to make these cups and these bottles, in fact, uh, that are fully recyclable. Brilliant. They will be, uh, you know, on the disposal of everyone. Brilliant! Wow. So. I mean, uh, see, when when you when you think of recyclable products or mm-hmm. or you know sustainability products, it always to a common man, you know, uh, for for the one who's probably not in, got himself initiated into the sustainability zone, uh, it, it 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 always feels like. Oh, this is for you know the elite or the for, for for the ones who are are progressive in their mindset. For me, commoner, what am I doing? I'm just probably drinking two bottles of water and throwing them in the trash can. Yes, I will throw it in the right trash can. Is that the first step to throw it in the right trash can, or to avoid it altogether? Is the first step. This is exactly like how it comes to organic fruits. Yeah, mm-hmm. like in the beginning, people were paying or uh, industry. The industry was investing a lot in order to get you like these perfectly shaped uh, yeah. oranges or like uh, <laughs> uh, uh, apples and whatever. And then they were costing a lot. And then later on, we saw that no, it's the reverse. Right? So now you go and you look at uh, the odd shaped one. Yeah, yeah, these odd. Cha- uh, uh, it's uh, organic and it's costing more. You're right. So the thing is that uh, yes, uh, back to your question, uh, it starts by in the beginning by really identifying the products and the waste that you are having there and if you want to throw your garbage away if you have plastic that you can you are able to put it together metal whatever it starts with that mm-hmm. and if you are doing this at the family level at the individual level then it will affect the whole community and we will be able to to achieve that I, I, th- I think this is a fantastic initiative and I, I think especially at a university um, because it's always the next generation that are pushing the boundaries that are telling their parents and their grandparents don't do it the way you've always done it uh, which is a, such an interesting habit. Ha- I mean we all know we need to do it and we all are conscious of yes on a greater good but we're, we're often guilty of oh well just one more used plastic bag isn't mm-hmm. going to make a difference yeah. when in fact it does. How hard is it to change people's behaviours in those situations? Well, it is hard. In, in fact, we witness this every time we go to supermarket. Yeah. And, you know, even even for ourselves who've been living yeah. here in the UAE, we got used, you know, to the have, having those single-use plastic bags that are there. They are putting yeah. all our stuff into that. And even for me, in my personal experience, you know, I go sometimes uh, to, to a mall. I want to go to a certain uh, yeah. supermarket. And then, oh, no, I need to go back to my car to get my bags. shopping bag. And this is, okay, but we are getting there. And mm-hmm. also... I I would like to remind re- remind that uh, Dubai took the initiative on moving, uh, you know, uh, away from the single-use plastic right, bag yeah. on the first of Jan- uh, July, July, which was the Canada Day. Oh, okay. So that's why for us at Canadian oh. University of Dubai, it was <laughs> very day. meaningful. Yeah. I, I I like the connection that you made over there. Yes. Uh, also, also reminded me of uh, you know uh, uh, the, the, the similar shopping habits that we have, right? A single-use plastic. Uh, before it was charged 25 fills per bag you go to the supermarket and for seven things that you're buying you'd pick up eight plastic bags because 100%. those plastic bags then would end up being on, on the as used as a bin liner yeah. but then today when i go to shop yes i have a, you know a couple of cloth bags that i carry with me in my car uh all of these things are self initiated mm-hmm. maybe if the government hadn't Im- imposed such a, a stringent rule that listen hey if you don't uh, you i mean if you do use a plastic bag you have to pay for it one would think that oh that's okay but once the ruling has been done the ones who want to get into the bandwagon will definitely get into but like you mentioned that you know education of the younger minds kit was also mentioning uh, you know that 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 education has to start from a very early age so what happens at the canadian university where you know you uh, and and your team is uh, educating or, or just setting up uh, uh, you know specific uh, uh, railway tracks for them that listen this is the track that will follow for life and for the generations to come well, we've been holding many workshops and mm-hmm. seminars and educating the students, of course. And guess what? We had students who've been coming even to my office and to some of the faculty and they're saying, why we are doing this here okay. in Dubai or why we are acting this way? Some of those uh, students or uh, kids, they were coming from uh, different families. They've been living abroad. Mm-hmm. They are used to different way Makes of, sense. Uh, uh, you know, living, uh, using material and whatever. And they come and sometimes they... They want to throw something. They look 
at you know at the ah. garbage they look at the bin and uh, is it the marking specifying the for example plastic or paper or whatever so we f- we feel that uh, sense of responsibility mm-hmm. that is with the young generation and uh, this ge- young generation will be growing and will be taking over and we are very much you know supportive to to those uh, initiatives and to this mindset well i i think that's uh, more power to you i think this is a fantastic initiative that you're running and we uh, look forward to november 2 down at city walk and this big announcement that you're going to have uh, in in association with the, what was the company from norway you're working with yes it's pure blue water pure blue norway. water yeah. wonderful dr alba Fakhari from the center of innovation and sustainability at the canadian university in dubai i uh, thank you very much for coming in and congratulations on all your work so far thank you so much for hosting me in and we invite you all and all your audience to come and visit CUD at any time. We are in City Walk in the heart of Dubai and you will be exposed to all these initiatives that we will be launching one after the other. Oh, oh that brilliant. Was, what a shame because, uh, you know, our producer called Pranav, his nickname is Freebie. He would have been down there as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, thank you, Dr. Okay. Albert, for coming in. Thank you so You're much. on TSB 